Do you ever wonder if homeschool is a good choice for you? Comment below with your questions, concerns, or ask about a setting up a time to discuss how to start your homeschool journey. Along the lines of what you were talking about with the standardized testing and how that kind of became a game with the assessments, how do you, when you're doing like some of these, you know, simulation, these projects and things, these real life situations, how do you grade? How do you um, assess? Like, do you, and do you do, do you save it all for the end or do you, and are you doing the self-assessments like you were talking about the meta learning you know, help and putting that back on the learner of how do I learn how, and then with the marketplace now, how do I choose the best environment for me? But how did you make adjustments for student learning and pacing and assessment? That was the, the systems that I use gave me latitude to do that. And so again, it's, it's the scale of some instructor using a simulation out of the box and then either sitting through the time period there with their students while they're doing it or just assigning it as homework and trying to let it do all the work without tying it in. The way that the simulations that I had would work, I did go for a mastery level. The technique that I would use on that would be would be mastery level. Okay. And they wouldn't be able to allow, they couldn't go to the next round until they finished a certain round. You know, it's like the games that they play. And it's kind of interesting because I think even when I first started seven or eight years ago, there were more students that acknowledged in the classroom that they were gamers than toward the end, the, the, up to last year, 2021. I always asked people before we started, I said, is anybody in here a gamer? And some people, very few would enthusiastically say, yeah, I am. And, and then, but it seems like that actually dropped off as I was teaching as you go along. So the, the crossover experience from gaming to simulation wasn't exactly there. And what I would do for the simulations would be uh, give certain dates. They have to get certain things done. And the only pressure would be, oh, the other students are now working on the second level. I, I really have to, to work on this. Mm. And, and I would say, you, you know, we talked about motivation. I, I would say, honestly, the only difference between people excelling and the opposite of excelling was motivation. It, it really, it wasn't, mm. they're, they're all good, smart students. And it just came down to whether they felt like they wanted to do this or not. And that was my job is to try to take them and, and try to turn it around so that it meant something to them. That, that was one thing, you know, I treated it. I can look at scores and see how much time these, you know, time on task is on the, on the back end of these things. You can go in there and see that and whatnot. But I would then ask the rest of the students, how did every, you know, I'd ask the class, how, how, how did everybody do on that, that round that was due last night at midnight? In, in this class that we just walked into face to face how'd everybody do and, and then they gets talking about it and then the energy starts in, in the classroom that was all i had to do was ask how, how did you do and how, how many people didn't get through it you know do you have any questions how would how, those who got through that how would you help them i i really relied on peer-to-peer -peer learning there and maybe a little bit of a kick for motivation too is like the motivated students are able to express themselves the less motivated students could observe an environment, you know, they could, it was, it was a good classroom experience where people like to do it. You know, if, if I didn't do that in a the classroom, they wouldn't know that other people in the class actually liked to do this and right. that, they, that they were um, very critical of it and how it was going to help them later on, you know, in, in their career or whatnot. And, and so you could adjust it that way. And I had, I actually used one of the simulations also in one of my MBA programs. And uh, I had, I had a student there and he wasn't making it through and everybody always makes it through. And this, this student contacted me probably by email, maybe by phone. I usually gave my phone number out to my MBA students. And, and he says, I really can't do it. I, I said, you can do it. I said, you don't have to do it. I said, you can let it go. You're going to get the grade that you're going to get. But so he had reached out. He felt personally obliged to, to, to succeed at this thing. And he, and he was just like, I can't do it. He's like a little child. I can't do it. I said, well, you probably can. Can you just try it one more time? And I'm going to tell you that was the biggest difference with the simulation. It's very complex. It would be hard for a professor or an instructor at any level to create that much, um, let's say, I don't want to say infrastructure, but, but um, detail around, let's, for, for this instance, it was running a business, that he had to go off on his own, probably talk to others in the class. And, and then I was mentioning these simulations. One person couldn't just give the answers to another person. It was all uh, different. Everybody had a different set of cards every time they started it up. He came back into the class for the last class with the biggest smile on his face. And I used that example so many times telling other students. I said, he, he 
accomplish something. If he had not done that, he would have not had, let's, let's talk about esteem here for a second. You know, he wouldn't have had the esteem of, of passing through that. And he literally, well, there's two parts of this. He literally mastered it. You know, this is something he couldn't do. I mean, this is what I get excited about. You couldn't do it. And then a day later, you could do it. And, and then you mm-hmm. thought it was easy once you saw the answers. And that is such a great lesson. That's the meta lesson out of that. Do you ever wonder if homeschool is a good choice for you? Comment below with your questions, concerns, or ask about a setting up a time to discuss how to start your homeschool journey.